In this video, we will be demonstrating the frog leg test to assess the posterior lateral corner of the knee. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Posterior lateral corner injuries of the knee commonly occur together with other ligament injuries in the knee joint. Rarely are they seen as isolated injuries, but can occur as a consequence of ACL injury at reconstruction failure. On our channel, you will find two other common tests for the PLC, which are the dial test and the reverse pivot shift test. In 2016, Gomez et al. proposed the frog leg test to assess for posterolateral knee instability. They compared the test with the standard varus stress test as well as MRI imaging. In their study, they found the sensitivity of 91.7% and specificity of 94.5%, as well as an inter-radar kappa of 0.86. These values have not been confirmed yet by other studies and reviews, and there is an interesting comment on the test that we will discuss after the test demonstration. Therefore, we give this test a moderate clinical value for now. Before we get into the test demonstration, we see that only 15% of our audience is subscribed to our channel. So if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing to our channel as it helps us out a lot. Now, to conduct the test, the patient lies in supine position and the legs are placed in a frog position. So both knees are flexed to 90 degrees and the foot soles touch each other. Then the hypothenar eminence of both hands is placed on the anteromedial aspect of the tibia. The middle finger of each hand can then palpate the lateral collateral ligament and joint line as well as the postural lateral corner. Then the examiner applies a varus force to both knees simultaneously and palpates for differences in lateral compartment gapping. The test is considered positive if there is a noticeably palpable difference on the affected side compared to the non-affected side. Norris et al. commented on the test in a letter to the editor. They argue that while the test position may exert load on the lateral collateral ligament, it may not suffice to also assess the postural lateral corner. From a biomechanical point of view, in order to stress the popliteus tendon and popliteofibular tendon, the tibia has to be externally rotated. They go on to state that the frog leg test position with the femur in external rotation will lead to relative internal tibial rotation and thus the PLC structures cannot be accurately assessed. While the test can be a good way to assess the integrity of the lateral collateral ligament, which is an integral part of the PLC, they mention that intraoperatively PLC injuries can occur without the involvement of LCL injuries and may therefore be missed by this test. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching this video. Again, if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, but you like our videos, please consider to hit the subscribe button and to click the little notification bell as well, as this helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to learn more about knee ligament assessment, click on the playlist to my left and check any and all links in the description down below for more information. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.